Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Dead Time. Are your rear brake shoes worn out and making noise? Well, then today's your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to change brake shoes on a car. First thing you want to do is jack it up in the air. Get it a few inches above the ground. And take off the wheel. Then get a big hammer and whack the drum a few times to loosen it up. And off it comes. Now, if you have a hard time getting the drum off, here's a trick that works on lots of cars. You'll notice there's two holes. You can screw bolts in these two holes and they'll force the drum off of the car if it's stuck. Now, if you look inside on the drum brakes, you'll notice there's all kinds of springs and devices. So here's another trick. Only do one side at a time. While you're working on this side, just have this side with the drum off so you can look at this side to see what you did wrong if you can't figure out where all the springs go back. That way you'll always have a good reference point to see where all the springs and bolts go back on. Now, the first thing you want to do is get a pair of clippers and then pull the top spring off. You grab it and pull. And off it comes. Then remove the retaining ring by using a pair of pliers, pushing it in, twisting it, and twist it so it meets the hole and comes off. Off it comes. Then this whole shoe just pulls right off and there's a spring on the bottom that you just remove. Then just take the other brake shoe off too, but you'll notice it's got an emergency brake cable on it. To get the emergency cable off, you use your clippers and squeeze them lightly at the very end and pull them out. Uh, then you just twist it and off it comes. Then get your box of new brake shoes and transfer the parts from this brake shoe to the new one. Get all the springs and parts and put them in the holes and hook them up. And don't forget the little emergency brake spring. It fits in here and then it clamps on right here. Uh. Now before you put the shoes back on, you'll notice on the backing plates here, there's little rub marks. You want to put some lubrication on them so they don't squeak. So you get some synthetic brake caliper grease and then apply it to all these areas where you see they've been rubbing on the left side and the right side. Then grab the emergency brake cable, pull it back, hold it in place, and put it back on the shoe here. Ah. Then put the back shoe in position first and stick the little spring back on. First put the spring on, then get the little cover, line it up, and push it on. You might have to twist it a bunch, but eventually uh, it snaps on. Then get the other shoe and put the bottom spring on the bottom, pull it over, and connect the top. How comes the hardest part? You got to get the rod in. So you get your clippers and you grab the spring while you line it up in a hole and snap the spring in. It's hard, but uh, eventually it goes in. And of course you have to put the retaining spring on the other side too. And the last thing to do is to adjust the automatic adjuster. You need two screwdriver. One pushes back the piece that holds in place, and the other one you turn to loosen the adjuster because the new brake pads are thicker. Then slide the drum back on and see how it feels. In this case, it's dragging just a little, which is exactly how tight you want it. You don't want it to be too loose. If it was too loose, you need to tighten it up by adjusting the adjuster again. But in this case, it's dragging just a little, which is just right. And you don't need to be perfect in this either because they have automatic adjusters on it. Whenever you slam the brakes on going backwards, they adjust themselves perfectly anyways. And of course, don't forget to do the other side. They work in pairs. So the next time you're quoted an expensive brake job, why not do it yourself? And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.